Hi, I'm Max Robinson. I intend to help physically challenged men become more masculine and awaken their masculinity. Today is an introduction to the channel, so welcome. I'm going to explain why I'm making the channel and how it can benefit you. If I look in this direction, it's because I'm reading from my notes, so please bear with me. What do I mean when I say physically challenged man? I'm referring to men who are disabled, men with chronic pain, and men who are recovering from injury, whether that be short term or long term. Everything in life has four pillars. There's spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional, but the, the most tangible aspect of disability and chronic pain is the physical side to it. So that's the main pillar that I'm gonna focus on for now. So who am I to speak on this? Well, I live with chronic pain. I pretty much have pain 24 seven. I was born premature. I think it was 24 weeks, 26 weeks. Doesn't really matter. I have mild cerebral palsy. So I've had a disability and pain for my entire life. And also I've had many surgeries over the years some to um, improve my posture. I've had surgeries to correct other surgeries. And I've also had surgeries on broken bones as well. So I've uh, recovered from long-term injury as well. I'm the guy to come to if you want to be more masculine as a physically challenged man. I'm very experienced in this field. Okay, so what is masculinity? Google's definition says qualities or attributes regarded as characteristic of men. Handsome, muscled and driven, he is the prime example of masculinity. Now I would say that this is quite a vague definition. If I was to sum up masculinity in one word, I would say strength. Yes, physical strength like it's alluding to, but also, like I said before, there are four aspects, right? A strong man, yes, has physical strength, but also strength of mind, heart, and spirit. So why do we need to be strong? Why do we need to be more masculine? As physically challenged men, we need to overcome pain itself, right? Even if you're, if you're disabled uh, and you don't have, you, you have like mobility issues, but you don't have physical pain, you probably still have mental pain or emotional pain. If you're if your mobility stops you doing what you want to do, or especially if it stops you doing what you were able to do in the past, right? So how do we overcome pain? By eradicating fear, by destroying fear. As someone that lives with chronic pain and mobility issues and has had surgeries, there's no room for fear in, in life. There's no room for it because if you're afraid and you let fear stop you from taking action, or especially if you're afraid of the pain, right? If you have pain and you don't want to go and do certain things because it's going to hurt. Oh, I'm scared of the pain. No, you won't do anything. You're not going to leave your room. And I've had experience of that too. Most of my time I still spend in my room, but there are levels to it. You need the strength to push through the pain to do the things in life that you want to do so we are strong because we want to overcome pain and we do that by eradicating fear so why do i use the term awakening when i say awakening your masculinity again i'm not going to go too deep but most men don't see their own potential they don't see that in fact you can be strong. Society has actually suppressed masculinity uh, intentionally. Again, it's for another video, society has put the mask over most men's faces. So the average man, and again, we don't want to be average, the average man goes around and he has the mask that society has put over his face and he is seeing what society wants him to see. That, that uh, masculinity is toxic and uh, if you are a, a man and aggressive and powerful, then it's wrong. It's demonized by society. No, no, it's not wrong to be masculine. 
In fact, it is good to be masculine. It is good to be powerful. It is good to be strong. And we need to awaken to that realization. Okay. So if you like these ideas and you want to see more of me and more uh, of what I've talked about, if you found this video of value, then please like, subscribe, comment, share it with someone that might need it, and uh, help me spread my message. Thank you.